In this video we want to learn how to exchange textures of more complex objects and uh, of ready-made objects from uh, the internet, for example something like this t-shirt. Um, the most important thing is the quality of the 3D model. What you see for example here on the left side are t-shirts which I downloaded from 3D Warehouse from Google and you can see that first uh, it is more like a low polygon t-shirt and also the texture is not really good. You can see that it doesn't fit so well on the corners. Uh, here it looks different. Uh, this is the texture of our 3D object from TurboSquid and you can see that it uh, has a much higher resolution and also the mapping is uh, really good. Okay, on the left side you see what it looked like before. On the right side you can see how I changed the texture to something like a football t-shirt. Okay, let's look at um, my downloads regarding t-shirts. If you go to 3D Warehouse, I just entered, uh, where was 3D Warehouse? I just entered shirt and I looked for some examples. There was nothing really good. Probably I have to look uh, research better, but um, I also looked at um, TurboSquid and with TurboSquid it's just like this. You have a function and you can just uh, search by price. We want to have free and just start searching. And I just looked at all the free t-shirts and I was looking for a t-shirt with a texture actually. And I took this one, the Robo uh, 80, and you can see that with this one you can just change the mapping and the quality of the t-shirt for uh, free wear is really, really good. And I just downloaded this. You need actually an account and uh, there are my downloads. So I have uh, some downloads of this TurboSquid. I downloaded this and when you see my uh, download folder, this is my download folder, then you can see there's something like a FBX, OBJ and um, we wanted to work with the FBX. And you can also see there's a folder which is called texture. This is the texture which was actually there. This is the texture which I created in Photoshop. Okay, I want to show you how I did this. And um, I just opened this texture in uh, Photoshop and I just open Photoshop here and I just go back to all my settings. So the first thing is I opened this file and it was important, it was um, a PNG. I double clicked on uh, the layer to make a transparency to create a transparency. Then uh, the next thing I did is I just selected the black area and then here you can say uh, everything similar uh, you I want to select and then I come to this point I select everything similar and then I create a new layer and I copy this black thing to the new layer um, and uh, then I just um, selected um, um, the, the lower uh, the lower layer and um, I um, used my lasso and I just created some um, uh, some lines and uh, with these lines for example I can just say I change my uh, tone red code to, uh, to create more of the lines. I press uh, the uh, shift key and uh, I just did something random like this. Nothing special and I did it uh, somehow like this obviously on the white layer and I also did it on the other side and uh, somehow like this and I did it here. These are, by the way, the arms. I didn't do anything there. And then you can do anything. You can change the color with whatever kind of tool you can do. Use whatever farbe tone that you're going, doesn't matter. A lot of options. So I did it on the right side. I did it on the left side, on the back side. Then I researched on the internet for a logo of um, FC Barcelona. Here again, I double click on this to create a uh, transparency options layer and then I just take my um, um, magic tool, I select white and um, if, and uh, it didn't happen right now, if you would have uh, selected this area too, then I have to deselect this with my uh, alt key, but this looked good. I delete it and then I say string A, string copy and I copy it into my file. It's much too big, obviously, and I just uh, scale it uh, somehow like this and then um, finished. And then I save it again as a PNG because it was a PNG before. I just go here and uh, save it as, where is my PNG? Well, like this, and I just call it 0.2. And we see the back is not, uh, uh, doesn't have my stripes. So uh, let's have a look. Okay, 
Uh, I'm back and I'm not back. Uh, I want to be back in a while now. And I'll just show you what I did. Um, first of all, regarding my um, SketchUp models, small thing. Um, no, I first want to um, take my SketchUp model. I go into SketchUp and this was my shirt and um, whatever. Here are my, my shirts. And what was important, by the way, I forgot to show you uh, if you go to import. Um, I think it's important. Oh, it takes a while, does it take so long? Okay, it's important to have embed textures and use the SketchUp text wider. Otherwise, I think you can't see this. And uh, if you see um, my 3D objects, which are not so nice, you can just click on these uh, textures, for example, like this. And this is for the diffuse uh, color. Uh, my texture and you can just click on this and um, No, it's not like this. I go up again and um, Here's this little field and you can just click on this and you can open it. You can just um, uh, Sorry, uh, you can open it something load something new. I wanted to show you something else Okay, um, again, I found it again. So it took, took me a second to find my uh, settings. So I go again into this one and I uh, go one hierarchy lower. And here you have this bitmap texture settings and uh, you can just uh, save it. First, uh, first of all, you can just uh, open image and um, whatever kind of program, I have this program paint and you could save this uh, also as a PNG and uh, for example here in my download folder um, blah 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 and uh, then also uh, for example in Photoshop uh, just move this a little bit so you can see this I can uh, open this and um, da -da -da. interesting and um, Okay, uh, here we go, and uh, then I can, for example, take the logo and just uh, copy it uh, into this one, and I just can uh, scale it a little bit, like like this. Oh, this is a stupid work. I can do it definitely better. Doesn't matter. So um, like this, and then I uh, save this. Again, as uh, PN, PNG number one, and I uh, did it. And now, again, I go into my Wino, and here I just exchange it and take, uh, take another one. Uh, my download actually, it's this one. And here we go. And now we have mapped the logo, by the way, mirrored, but doesn't matter. Okay, and uh, I will show you one more time how to do it with this Turbo Squid. I import my uh, T-shirt file as, uh, as an FBX. And I just go into uh, Motion, FBX, T-shirt, man. All the settings uh, can stay. Uh, I just, I don't want to scale it now. Here is my object. It doesn't have a texture or it has a texture. It has a white texture. But what you could do, a lot of options you can do. Uh, you can just go um, take one of these. By the way, I just take a new one, custom file. And here I click on color and I just select my, um, uh, my texture, which I created, the one with uh, the blue bag. Uh, exactly like this and then I select all my object and just say right mouse click assign to object you can't see this right now and um, just wait a second and here we go it's now the other texture on the back uh, blue and on the top it has my little uh, um, my little swipes thanks for watching